Hello and welcome to Minor Talks about the changes from Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors to The Forgotten Empires. This video is about the changes that are specific to the Spanish. Now there's only one change in here and is that missionaries benefit from bloodlines. So here's bloodlines here, 20% extra hit points for mounted units. I seem to have lost my slip at those. And so if I go up to the castle age and get myself a monastery and I'll need to go up to the Imperial Age. There's my missionary. Missionary has 30 hit points. Now if I just get the monk as well, when I get the monk and I get sanctity, the monk goes up to 45 hit points and so does the missionary. However, bloodlines is for mounted units and so theoretically the missionary you know, is a mounted unit. So let's get bloodlines, 65 hit points. This makes missionaries you know, pretty good actually, um, and they're, in terms of the range, um, they're, the monk now has 12 range and the missionary has 10 range, um, there's nothing else here that actually allows upgrades to the monk um, stats, but if you were to go into a battle, I would go with the um, missionaries, the only difference is that they have two less conversion range but they at least they can run in a bit quicker and they have the extra 20 hit points to withstand that they also however unfortunately can't pick up relics um, which is the other downside so if you were playing a black forest map then you would have to get a monk uh, just to quickly get a relic or two and then use missionaries in later game scenarios thank you very much for watching i shall see you in the next part which shall be for the uh, tutans